What's up, y'all? Crazy Al Kane. Fourth day, Toy Fair 2017. It's crazy. We have Adriana right here. She's gonna show us Sam's Curious Cars kit. It's really cool. And we're gonna get them all right now. We make app enabled electronics for kids to build and program their own inventions. That being said, it's comprised of two parts. So we've got the little uh, wireless electronic blocks and an app. There are many different sections within the app to get you started and get you to understand how to build and program. Um, all through the form of a fun little game. So essentially, we're gonna build and program a car in under 30 seconds, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, having no prior knowledge of any technology or engineering skills as well. You'll see that obviously everything is connecting based off of proximity. So it's Bluetooth enabled. Basically it picks up which is closest to the iPad. So now you'll see that when I press the button, it's obviously responding to me in the app, so that means the, the devices are paired, but it's not making the car run. So if we connect this to here, there we go. Now, when we press the button, the car will move. It's fast too. Yeah, it's super fast. Wow. Yeah, so how simple was that? That was really maybe 45 seconds at all um, to program your entire car. So obviously that's the, that's the basics of how Sam works. And as you begin to unlock the next challenge, you unlock levels of complexity and integrate more blocks. So the next level is steering, going forwards and backwards. And after that, we've got light and sound incorporating into all of the other concepts that we've already accomplished. So let's go into this one because this is really where kids begin to ask, okay, I can do more with this kit, not just drive the car straight and back and forward. The same process as before, the blocks are connecting and initiating. Amazing. Um, now we just need to connect. And now that we've actually connected it to this thing in the back, this is actually representative of sound. So before, um, we didn't have anything that was living inside of the software integrated into the whole system. But this thing now is actually going to enhance everything that you've already built and lives within this app. Press the button to go and use the slider to steer. And we can even actually throw this cute little body on top to match the, the personality of the car. So these little foldable paper bodies come inside of the kit, and so you can really, really take on the, the persona. So now, so obviously when I press the button, it's giving me a little uh, NYPD scare. And, <laughs> I'm out of here, I'm out of here. And the sound as well. So if your car is going reverse, like mine was, now we just press it, and it'll go straight, and we can steer. <laughs> and destroy the whole display. Exactly. Nice. That's, that's the point, man. We're having fun. But like I said, this is really the point in uh, in the building process where kids be able to under kids get to understand that the light just doesn't need to blink one color. It blinks two colors. And the the sound within the app, I can actually use that to drive my car. So as you graduate through the other levels, you incorporate things like light and sound and reverse and actually accelerating in here you get a little boost. Um, and finally, the final level is where you have a rainbow light and a magic racing car. So after this point, um, which provides for give or take five to ten hours of play, um, we can come back into the screen and go into custom cars. So instead of the app telling you what to do, like you uh, are guided through the entire um, system, we can actually now assign the functions to the blocks themselves. We have three different sections, so everything that you would have encountered before, of uh, driving, um, the lights, the sound, we can actually assign the different functions um, on the screen. So this is where the, the element of programming really comes into play. So if we drag and drop and assign uh, the different functions to the different blocks, then we can essentially now say, all right, previously we only got to drive with a button, now we can drive with a screen. And you'll see that we can actually also incorporate the steering into the screen. So using the accelerometer within the app, we nice. can make sure that when we drive, <laughs> um, yeah, so then obviously moving, moving back into the whole idea of sounds and software, we can incorporate things like a racing car sound. So when you drive, you got an element of speed in there or a zoom. <laughs> and obviously it's super easy just to drag and drop into program and put these things into play. 
So kids are really unleashing the fact that they can satisfyingly build and program their own car without knowing any elements of programming at all. So at this point, you can do one of two things. You can obviously go back through the levels, you can continue to build your custom car, and then, or you can also come into what we have called the Sam Arcade. And this is just good old unadulterated fun. You can guiltily play for hours and hours and hours and hours on your iPad um, in this little mini arcade. So essentially what we're going to play right now is called Getaway Car. And it's a completely different way to play with your iPad using um, remote controlled wireless technology. Mm -hmm. So you can essentially put your iPad on the under your bed and play or eat Doritos at the same time. So every time I press the button, the car is turning. So I have to try and catch all the cash and oh no, Ooh. I crashed. So it's terrifyingly addictive. Um, <laughs> but obviously you can go back, you can play things like Zombie Bird, Space Raider, etc. Um, and that's really, really just pure hours and hours and hours of addictive fun. But then the other thing that you can actually do is come into our other app called Sam Space. And this is really where the magic happens. This is a much more logical app for you to be able to integrate over 60 different software features into the middle of the circuits to basically program anything. So let me show you how it works. Basically, if I turn on this button and I drag it onto the screen, now you'll see that it's adopted a color, right? The same color that's on the screen. And if I say, I want now, I'll get another motor. If I turn on the motor, reset it, and it will show up in the corner over here. And then basically, I'm gonna drag it on and I'm gonna connect them the same way that I did in the previous app um, by simply connecting the dots between the two elements. But now, I can actually completely fundamentally change the aspect of the hardware by adding in different software elements. So you're, you took it from the super gamified version into what we have that's very, very logical. So yet again, develops a different color because they're not connected yet. Mm -hmm. So essentially now, if I connect the dots, now they show the same color, and when I press this, the button moves. Or sorry, the, the motor moves. So same form of wireless connecting, dragging and dropping, super fun. But let's say now, all right, I don't just want the button to be a button, I want it to be a switch. So what I can do is I can drag in an element of software, and what we have here is called a toggle. And now, when I press the button, the motor stays on. And when I press it again, the motor turns off. So it's essentially not just a button anymore, it's now a switch. And I've done that basically by using one of these little elements over here, which are pretty much lines of coding, but packaged up into this pretty little uh, icon that you can drag and drop with. And so obviously we can expand that further and say, all right, let's, let's mix in things like logic or timing or delays and, and functions like logging, data collection, filtering, inverses as well. And you can really, really essentially break anything with Sound Labs. It's, it's quite extensive. But the final step is essentially learning to write your own lines of JavaScript. There's so much depth to the product and it's a toy you grow into, not out of. Mm -hmm. And obviously, building up to this point, it starts with playing a game with one button, with understanding the value of what, what can it possibly do with one button? What can I do with three sand blocks? What can I do with five sand blocks? How can I embark on this gamified journey and then transition into this really, really visual, programmatic, logically laid out journey to actually bring something to life and then finally code it, make it into a physical line of code. So Sam is such a great product for, for anyone ages six and up to be able to get started with technology and gain that digital literacy while having fun. No one realizes that they're actually going to, they're learning programming by playing a game and building a car. But it's it's incredible. It's such a great way to, to get anyone into STEM and especially young little girls and boys who really need that encouragement into the technology industry. My name is Adriana Goldenberg. I am from Sam Labs here at Toy Fair on sugarcane.com. Back to you, Billy. <laughs> cool.